Hi, I am Roland. I'm a residential realtor here in North Dallas. I'm an Excel enthusiast. What I'm not is mortgage lender, CPA, tax advisor. Those are the three people I'd recommend that you get actual advice on your scenario. But what I want to show you is something I thought was very interesting. And uh, you can take it for entertainment value. You might be able to make some analysis decisions for yourself. But I want to talk through this because I had this question come up multiple times. And I'm going to paint this scenario through this picture here. We've got house number one. It's about to sell. It's got $115,000 of equity. Buying house number two at $500,000. $100,000 required for a 20% down payment. What the 20% down payment does is it makes the bank look at you like a better borrower. They're like, hey, this person is serious about that loan. They are sophisticated. We're going to give you a nice 5.91% interest rate in today's rates. and we're not even going to make you pay any of the pr private mortgage insurance. Um, now, same scenario. Let's say you actually want to keep some of that money in your pocket. And so you want to pick the minimum down payment, 5%. Then the bank's like, mm, let me look. All right, interest rate's going to be 6.09% because it's a little bit more risky. And I want you to pay some insurance to make sure that if you default, our butts are covered. Um, and so we see if you want that that ability to keep the money in your pocket, you're going to pay almost $125,000. Now, let me show you the difference on your monthly payment. This is looking at amortization tables. The last time this question popped up for me, we talked about it. I don't I don't give advice. I just want to talk to you about what is going to, what's going to happen and let people decide. Well, I went to a conference, actually, two days after this came up. And uh, at this conference, there was a person named Don Daniels. You can find him on YouTube. He's got a book called The Pill Method. It was a fascinating discussion. I'm just going to show you what he pointed out. On an amortization scale, and he is an amortization expert, um, in this scenario, 5% down payment, you got, you're got you going to be paying $28.75 per month versus this scenario, $23.75 per month. It's a $500 difference per month. Um, interest rate or interest that you're going to pay every month uh, is going to be far higher and it incrementally comes down as you pay down the note. But in month one, it's going to be 400, I'm sorry, 2410 of interest versus uh, 1970 of interest. The amount of principal, the value of you're paying towards the equity of your home is $464 versus over here, $405. So in all, this more expensive loan, you're catching a lot of it just in the fact that you're accumulating so much more interest. I've shown you here in the table, you're paying $105,000 more in interest for this loan. Now, what happens when you make an extra payment? If you make an extra payment, 24, I'm sorry, 2875, that's a lot of money coming out of your pocket, but it actually saves you quite a bit because you, you get to erase more of that um, the payments through interest. But you really don't need to pay, make that payment to have an impact. Let's say, for instance, in month three, you just want to make a double payment on the principal only. And so I'm just going to put in the extra, let's see, four, six, nine, I think that was about the right, four, six, nine, and you end up saving what works out to be $2,400 because you put only that extra principal amount down. Let's say you do it again, uh, 474, there we go, boom. You just saved yourself almost another 2,400 bucks just with those two payments for nine uh, for $943, you got a return of almost $5,000. That's fascinating. Let me just undo what I've done. Well, given that scenario, let me come back over here. Because one person I was talking to was saying, I'd rather keep the money in my pocket and put the 5% down so that I can move. And after I've done move and took care of all of the decoration, then I'm going to put the rest down so I can get to that same 20% equity position. So I made a little magic thing that happens here. Click. Boom. This is magic. He just put the difference 
of these two down payments, $75,000, in month number two, let me come over here. So, I'm sorry, here we go, in month number one, and suddenly he's got the same level of equity as he would have, I'm sorry, the same balance as he would have right here in both scenarios. By doing that, he's erased his premium or private mortgage insurance and just saved himself a lot of money to the tune of more than double of that $75,000 down payment over the life of the loan. Additionally, he erased nine and a half years on his loan because he just scooched so much farther forward in line on the payments of this. I thought it was fascinating. Wanted to share it again. I am a realtor. I am not a financial advisor, a mortgage lender, CPA, any of those. I highly recommend you talk to um, one of them if you are interested in doing a route of 5% down and put the rest after the mortgage starts because they will be able to advise you on the actual condition of your note. If you got more questions on this, pop them in the, in the chat below. I'd love to talk through them. Um, otherwise, follow our channel and see more content like this.